Sierra's family was forced to relive the day they found out that she went missing through witness testimony. The last person to see her alive, her boyfriend took the stand today. I continue working on the table. Overcome with emotion as he took the stand, Josh Kolosinski and Sierra Joggin knew each other since they were kids, but had been dating for seven years when she was kidnapped and killed. And on the evening of her disappearance, Josh was the last one to see her alive. Sierra rode her bike to Josh's house, and when it was time to leave, Josh got on his motorcycle to make sure she had company on her way back, even taking this video of that fateful ride. We got a few miles down the road and she told me that, you know, she was yelling at me that she didn't need me by her side and that and that she was fine. And we were at a corner and I gave her a kiss and said bye. Sierra's mother heard from Josh later that night, worried after Sierra was not answering her phone. But she assured the jury that her daughter did not know James Worley. Before July 19, 2016, did you know the defendant? No. To your knowledge, did Sierra know the defendant? No. To your knowledge, did she have any reason to be over at his residence? No. The jury saw pictures like this, a sock Sierra was wearing the night she went missing, as well as this piece of lingerie pictured here on a model. The state says was found in a barn on Worley's property with Sierra's blood. Just some pieces of unsettling evidence that will be part of this case the jury will view and hear about. Much of that evidence was described in detail during the state's opening statements. And you're going to hear how she died due to mechanical asphyxiation. <clears throat> because a yellow dog toy has been shoved so far into her mouth and tied in place with a rope that she could not breathe. And it was inserted with such force that it broke one of her teeth. And before the trial got started today, the jury was seated. There are 12 men and women that are seated on the jury, as well as six alternates. I can tell you by taking a look at them, it's predominantly more women on that jury than men. Reporting today from Fulton County, Michelle Zapata, WTOL 11.